Hello and welcome to the weekly team review. And this team is from a couple weeks ago. I missed it. And it's a silver team. And initially I thought like, are you kidding, guys? You really want me to play silver team? I wasn't going to play it initially. But then I thought this is a good opportunity to talk about silver and bronze cards in MK Mobile. And is there really any point to them once you got yourself a decent gold team? So while I destroy... Holy crap, we're facing diamonds. While I destroy this uh, Faction Wars battle, let's talk about it real quick. So, is there any use for gold, uh, for silvers and bronze characters after you got a decent gold team? Like, like, if you're intermediate in the game, like you've been playing for a couple months, you build yourself a decent gold collection and... Is there still a point to use silver cards? So there is a few, there is a few situations where you might want to use silver and bronze cards. Number one, challenges, obviously. Until you, oh my god, I'm not paying attention. Until you max out your, holy crap, are we gonna, we're gonna lose this, we're gonna lose this because I'm getting distracted. Let me finish this and I'll say. So challenges, obviously, you're gonna need a bunch of silver and bronze team to do the challenges. But beyond that, like, it doesn't require fully maxed out bronze or silver team to be able to do challenges. So it's it's not that big of a deal. Like, there's no point to max it out. However, there might be a good reason to do it. And uh, that reason, in my opinion, is survival. Uh, so I, I don't know about bronze. I don't think bronze makes sense at all. So bronze, I would only use in challenges. Because I have to for the first hour. However... Silver cards, I on my beginner account, which is people saying it's not really beginner account anymore, it's pretty strong. I use silver cards in survival in uh, like the second tower because sometimes you get points. You can get 3x for your silver cards, you can get 1.6 uh, for your silver cards, and like even though second tower doesn't give you much points, usually it can be easily completed with just full silver team especially if it's a good team that has a kenshi in it or a scorpion or some some cage uh, girls and boys so if it's a like you can literally get yourself like 300 400 thousand points in survival for just doing second tower with silver team which again if you're a beginner this can end up like if you used up all your gold cards on higher towers and grind as many points as you can Silver cards could be useful for, for the second tower. This is first. Second, you can still use certain silvers even when you have much better cards. Two examples. Silver Kenshi. I've been using Silver Kenshi for the longest time. I beat my first ever normal tower still using Silver Kenshi in certain battles. He is... When you pair him with a good spec up and a good... Like, I pair, pair them with uh, Combat Cup Johnny and uh, Classic so No, uh, Hanzo Hasashi and Combat Cup Johnny. It was on my previous beginner account. And I was dominating. Absolutely dominating with that team. It was so good. Like, Silver Kenshi becomes... Like, his stats become pretty much gold. If you pair him with both uh, Spec Up and Martial Artist. And also he is incredibly fast. He has Power Drain, Special One. He's a good, decent character. Like, he is a gold in disguise. The second uh, silver character, in my opinion, that could be useful, again, even beyond beginner stages, is Silver Scorpion. Because of the Spear Spam. Spear Spam is one of the most, if not the most, overpowered strategies in MK Mobile. If you have three scorpions on your team and if your enemy team does not have any resistance to stun you win that's how spear spam works you literally cannot lose unless i mean there are certain situations which if if, if they can reflect stun back to you it could be nasty if they uh i mean yeah if they're not immune to stun if they have any resistance to it it could be nasty but there's usually like ways to overcome it anyway so if you don't have three gold or diamond scorpions at a decent fusion that uh, you can do spear spam with, that's where silver scorpion 
actually could be good and actually very useful because he, he, he can spear spam like nobody else. Like, if, if you've seen my video uh, recently, Abo Nagi used Silver Scorpion to beat Battle 194 in Linkway Tower because of his stun on Special 1. It's extremely OP. Another silver card that could be used to cheese things is Silver Jockey. Believe it or not, you can literally have unlimited stun if you manage to corner an enemy with Silver Jockey Briggs. You will have unlimited stun. It's going to take you a while to beat enemies up because she doesn't do much damage. But it's a control strategy. Control strategies, they don't rely on damage. You don't care how strong your cards are. It's all about taking control of the fight. You will never get hit. And if there is no time limit on the battle, how it doesn't matter how long it takes. As long as you have full control of the battle and you will not allow enemy to hit you, it doesn't matter if you run shot, if that shot never going to come to, to your way. So... Those are three silver cards that, in my opinion, th th could be used for, like, pretty much until until very, very late game where you have, like, diamond teams that are Fusion 5 and above. Then maybe you can retire those cards, especially Silver Kenshi. Silver Kenshi is probably the easiest one to retire because he can definitely be replaced by better gold cards or diamond cards. But he's probably going to be uh, the silver that you're going to be using as a damage dealer for the longest time. However, Silver Scorpion and Silver Jackie, those two, I've seen people with like super strong accounts still using them to cheese things. And it's it's totally normal. They they can do it. Like the, the keyword here is cheese. You cannot use them as legitimate cards that like do damage or take damage or anything like tanks or bruisers but you can use them for control and that's the most important part so to answer your question that nobody asked and i asked myself and then answered in the end of this video is yes silver cards absolutely have a place in the end game what about bronze cards though there's only one i've seen people using monk so let me let me get this straight I know people are going to make an argument. I've seen Legendas use Monk to die and give Bar of Power. Let's be honest. There is not a single strategy in the world that requires to use Monk. There are certain strategies where you only need two characters to execute. So the third character is irrelevant. And uh, that's why Legendas in some videos use the Bronze card as a third character. Not as a part of a strategy but simply to show how powerful the strategy is, that even if you have a bronze card in your team, you can still beat a powerful battle, but it, the bronze card is never essential. I haven't seen a single situation ever where a bronze card was instrumental in any high-level strategy. Bronze cards just simply have no place in endgame, in my opinion. There is no reason to use them. There is always something better to use. Always! So, in my opinion, bronze cards, just get them as strong as you need them to be able to clear hard challenge first tower, which is, I think, fusion 4 or 5 is enough. Never pay coins for them, even though coins are trash and... You, okay, pay coins for them until you get them to this point, so you can beat the challenges faster. But, like, maxing out bronze cards, especially investing resources in them, even though it's just coins, it's still not worth it. You're gonna get all your bronzes maxed out if you're open uh, challenge... Uh, I mean, if you open free pack anyway, you're gonna get so many bronzes, it's gonna be ridiculous. So, yeah, bronze cards... Even Johnny. Like, you can, you can have an argument. Johnny is a good character, but... I've never seen him used not as a means to just show that the strategy works with anybody. Anybody, like, he, the only good thing about him is Power Drain and Special One, which is good for Bronze card. But there are so many other cards that have power. Like, there is no situation when Bronze Johnny Cage is going to be better than even Fusion Zero Combat Cop Johnny. Like, Fusion Zero Level 50 Combat Cop Johnny is going to be better than fully maxed out Ninja Mime Johnny. Stats-wise, passive-wise, everything-wise. So, like, 
bronze cards are trash. I'm sorry. And another argument you could probably make is Shaolin Master Kun Lao. But in my opinion, in my honest opinion, Shaolin Master Kun Lao is horrible. I don't think you should ever do the bronze team. Like, if you're going to fight a bronze team with Shaolin Master Kun Lao, there's always a better thing to do. Like, only do it if you want to do it for fun. But it's never, like, you are not... You are not rigging the system. You, you can literally find a silver or gold card that's going to have even better stats and much better passive than those bronzes. Even boosted 300%. So it's there's no reason to use it. Un unless you want to prove a point uh, or like pl do something different. But like it's never, it's never efficient. It's never required. So yeah, this is my opinion on bronze and silver cards. What are your opinion? Do you think there is ever... Impressive. Have you ever heard of a strategy that requires bronze card to to to, uh, to work there is definitely a few a few strategies that require silver uh, cards like Jackie or scorpion sometimes you just don't have three scorpions with a stun so that's why you need to use uh, oh god oh god goodbye Ermac Ermac goes bye bye Anyway, yeah, I think I made my point. Looking forward to your comments. I, I'm trying not to lose this battle right now. It's proving more difficult than I thought. Oh, boy. Blast him! Thank you, Adventure Boy. That's That was a good opportunity to talk about silver and bronze cards. I feel like people don't talk about them enough. Which is fair. Most of the time, they're not good. <laughs> Subscribe for more. Thank you so much, members of the Patreons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.